I like the woods. I always have. You don't get me wrong. I like to be indoors in a nice fluffy bed as much as anyone. In fact, more than anyone, probably. I've heard them say, it's the simple things we should appreciate most. <laughs> and right now, it's the wind in the trees and the smells in the air. This place has magic. And people nowadays are way too concerned with their shiny, tiny beeping machines than they are with the simple joys of living. And sometimes, I'm compelled to come out of this place and do a little meditation, they call it or communing with nature, or just letting the magic guide me. Because I help people, even if they don't know they need help. Because as I've discovered, people need all the help they can get. This thing is hideous. <laughs> what was I thinking? Vroom, vroom! Why do you always do that, Dad? We used to love that as a kid. Yeah, you're home early. <sighs> it's over. What's over? The company. We sold the websites, the interface, the code that I worked half my life on, sold myself out of a job. Now they say that I've got enough money to retire. Didn't you already have enough money? That's what they say. <laughs> That's why it feels so weird. So, what happens now? I don't know. Guess I'll uh, hang out here at the house for a while. Maybe we could spruce it up a little bit. Wait, didn't you hire a decorator? Won't they get mad? Well, it's our house. I don't know. 
Maybe we could go on those trips that we talked about. What trips? Maybe we could just hang out. You know, I, I could learn how to cook. Well, I've got a lot of summer reading to catch up on. Maybe we'll order pizza later. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Hello. Hi, is this Chris Barber from Mr. Garvey's class? Um, no. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I was in Mr. Garvey's class last year, but yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, um, I need to raise my English grade, and he suggested that you could tutor me? He did? I mean, yeah. I, he, he, he mentioned that thing with the, you know, me tutoring of you. Uh, yeah. So can you? Can I what? Tutor me this summer. In English? That's the idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm good at English, so. Are you sure? Yeah, sure, I'm sure. I, why, did somebody say something? I was kidding. Anyway, um, text me your address. I can come over tomorrow and we'll work out a schedule. My parents can't pay much. Oh, I mean, that's, I mean, come on, no payment necessary. I mean, no shoes, no shirt, no service. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I guess uh, I, I will, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, okay, cool. Thanks, bye. <sighs> I am so lame. <sighs> what in the world am I gonna do? I mean, Franny, she's, she's gonna be here tomorrow. What was that? Kitty? Hey guys. Yeah. Did we get a cat? No. Why? What do you do when you like a girl? Uh, well, uh... Oh, I did see a cat, that one. Yeah, me too. It's weird, right? Hey, let's go order that pizza, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Tina, and no, you can't go to business college. But mom, I didn't even say which one. It doesn't matter which one. Just face it, you are too brilliant and smart for your own good. We can't afford it. I promise that we will look for scholarships over the summer, okay? This is so unfair. My website would make a lot of money. I'm sure it would, but right now, your mom can't even afford visible footwear. So I'm sorry. Quit bug your mom about business college. Why don't you shut it? Why don't you shut it? You're the annoying one. No, you're the one who doesn't even know what he's going to do with his life. At least, I have direction and purpose. And if only you had a personality, you might have a future. I hate you, Trent. Ditto. Can you guys give it a rest and help me find my shoes, okay? Or I won't feed you this week. Aren't they outside on the porch? Oh, right. Thanks, Trent. <laughs> Suck up. Loser. Slacker. Nerd. A little help here. Okay, there's more in the fridge, and I don't think I'll be home too late. Yeah. Hi there. 
Is that a cat? Four paws, kind of furry, yeah. I think so. I wonder what it wanted. My stinky shoes, apparently. Can you put that in the car for me, sweetheart? Yeah. Thanks. Off to work. Oh. It's a lot of work to do what I have to do. Not many people realize that. Yes, we're all connected, but it takes real magic to connect the right people at the right time. But it can be hard sometimes because people can be stubborn and silly and sleep right through the best parts of life. I try not to let that happen. I'm Duffy and I'm a human whisperer and I think I found the people I'm supposed to help. Dad? Dad? What's going on? No, it's fine. It's just a smoke alarm in the kitchen. Nothing to worry about. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just had a little hiccup with the waffle maker this morning. What happened? I can't make waffles. And now we're gonna have to get a new waffle machine, and I'm gonna buy one that comes with directions. <laughs> Seriously? So what's this with your uh, shirt? Franny's coming over. Any minute. Who's Franny? The girl from my class I told you about? The one that needs English tutoring? Oh, yeah. Well, listen, this place smells like burnt waffles. So why don't you guys go out by the pool and I'll go bring you some juice? Okay, I'll be out there. Just don't bother with the juice. Or... Oh, so you don't want the old man to uh, mess up your girl time, huh? Gross. Hey, listen, you go upstairs, finish getting ready. I'll go take care of the table outside. You decided to come back, huh? I had to. You need my help, and not just in the kitchen. What did you burn in there anyway? I could smell it out. Ooh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes. Ooh. Let's see. What does it say? Duffy. I'm Duffy. Yeah? It's Duffy. But there's no address. Who told you to stop rubbing my ears? Huh. I don't remember my first owner very much. Okay, well maybe you can get some sun out here, huh? And if you could grab me a bowl of milk, that would be great. I should probably follow Phil inside, but there is seriously nothing more wonderful than a cat nap. That's why they call it that, you know. Wow, you have a really nice house. Thanks. Does it always smell like waffles? Um, no. Uh, follow me, we'll go outside. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. Mm. Oh, hey, is that your cat? No. I don't even know what he's doing here. I heard that. Oh, I like cats. Ooh, cats like you too. Mm. Yeah, he's cool, I guess. Me and my dad were actually thinking about getting a cat. Nice backpedal, kid. This is so nice. I mean, you must be out here all the time. Yeah, sometimes. Not true either. So you're having trouble in English? Yeah, well, I'm not really into reading books but you're in honors classes. Yeah, well, uh, just because I had like help and stuff. Oh. So I need help from you. Uh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> um, are these the ones you want to start with? Yeah, well, there's a whole required reading list in the first book. I kind of need help with what's going on. So you don't read at all? Why? When there's movies and TV. 
maybe we can make it fun. How's that? Um, you could explain to me what's going on in the books while I swim in your pool? I, I don't, um... I mean, it seems a shame to waste it. Let's make learning fun. Okay, well, um, how about I take a look at the list of these books and then I just work out a time schedule and, you know, okay? Cool. Oh, uh, oh, okay. What the heck, Cat? Don't look at me. I may be here to help you humans, but explaining your irrational behavior is beyond me. I'd say Chris isn't so experienced expressing his affection or talking to girls or dealing with humans at all, really. Take your pick. Well, I don't know what that was, but I hope everything works out. I'll do my best. So this is what retirement is all about, huh? I am bored. Yeah. Well, that sure was random. Not really, Phil. But I gave you another day before I spring that on you. Hey, Chris, did you let the cat in? I came in myself, by the way. Not that hard. So, Duffy, what should I do? Feed me? A little more milk? Maybe some sandwich meat? Hey, you look like you might be hungry. Do you want me to find you something to eat? Wow, I am good. Sure, buddy, let's eat. Did someone mention my name? <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> so, you like that, Duffy, huh? You let the cat in? Oh, I thought you did. No. You probably shouldn't feed him. Well, why not? He doesn't belong to us. You think his owner's gonna be happy with you feeding him? Well, I don't know. Well, you should probably see about taking him back. Well, I looked on his collar. There's no address. You really don't like him? He just doesn't belong here, that's all. No use in getting attached to something that's not gonna stick around. Mm -hmm. Chris! Okay, Duffy, I guess we're gonna have to find out where you need to go. Duffy? The Sim shindig went well? Yeah. They're such nice people. Why don't you think about asking them for an internship? They make toys, Barf. Wow, why did you become so jaded? I'm not jaded, I just know what I want. Unlike some people. 
I heard that. Of course you did. What about you, Trent? What about me? Why don't I ask the Sims about an internship for you? How much does it pay? I don't know. Goofus. No, you're the goofus, actually. Besides, toys and stuff is for people with imaginations and creative type stuff. You don't have any. I'm gonna fix that loose fence. Thanks, sweetheart. I always feel like I'm gonna fall right through it. Suck up. <sighs> That's me. Mmm. I gotta start the cheese puffs. You wanna help? In a minute. Say by the bell. I do not like these silly machines, but they can be useful at times. think you have nothing to offer, do you? Not really, no. Well, good. Because you are a wonderful son, you're smart, and you can do whatever you want. And I have no idea what that is. Well, it takes time. I know. I just don't want to take an internship or anything else when I don't know what I want. There's got to be tons of people who'd love to have an internship at a toy company. People with imagination to offer. Hey, you have a lot to offer. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Okay, you'll figure it out. Don't let your sister get you down. I don't. Good. Because I love you all. And I'm proud of you. think he likes you. Guys are just clueless like that. You just have to keep at it. I know. I know. I know. Well, you know how Derek was. That's why you broke up with him. You want something different. Hey, I gave you that idea. I know. I know. I know. Right. Uh, there's one thing you don't know, which is, I really like your look at your beeping machine. Well, let me know. I just, I think you have to keep at it. Probably. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Goodbye. I am such a good friend. Read your beeping machine. Who said that? Trent, are you messing with me? It's not Trent, it's me. You're a cat. Read your machine. And you're talking? How? Who? <laughs> what? Tina. Yes? Tina, please, read your machine. My computer. Yes. Why? I said please. Yes, but you're a cat. I'm a cat with good manners. So, please read your machine. I can only speak to you once. It's the rules. Okay. I will. Thanks. Right. Mom? There's a cat in here. I know there's a cat in here. It was just talking to me. Why is there a cat in here? It just is. Did you not hear what I just said? It was talking to me. Here, kitty kitty. Maybe it's hungry. Should I get it some milk? No. It talks. Like, it doesn't just meow. It was just talking to me. Like, like words, sentences, language out loud to me. Tina, just calm down, okay? You're scaring the cat. I'm scaring the cat. It was just talking to me. Where's your brother? Oh, kitty, kitty, it's so cute. This is 
why you have no imagination. A talking cat? That's just stupid. That's the best you could come up with. That doesn't even make sense, you moronic oaf. I didn't even do anything. What is going on? Where's the cat? He's gone. He left when you started yelling and slamming doors. What is going on, Tina? Ask my brother. Whatever, Trent. How goes the cheese puffs? In the oven. How's the fence? Sturdy. Are you okay? You seem a little down. I'm fine. Hey, you want to watch a movie marathon with me? I taped it last night. Humphrey Bogart. You'd love it. Lots of dastardly deeds, dames, daring do. Sounds cool, but maybe another time. I'm going for a walk before it gets too dark. You ain't no good, see? You know, I, I hate to do this to you, but uh, I might have to fill you full of lead, see? Because a man's got to do what a man's got to do. <laughs> you like Humphrey Bogart movies too, huh, Duffy? Sure. Your impression is terrible, but the movies seem good. Not enough cats, though. <sighs> Duffy, what am I going to do? Try taking a long walk into the woods. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about taking the trails over there, but... Is somebody in here? Just those lazy old movie-watching types. <laughs> Duffy? You should take a walk in the woods. What's going on here? And then have a talk in the woods. Why are you talking? Well, because I have one chance to, and I thought now might be good. Y you can talk? But only once? I don't make the rules, Phil. No, no, I, I don't suppose you do. But hold on a sec. Okay, but just remember what I told you. Right. Walk, talk in the woods, but you stay there, right there. Chris! 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 What? What happened? Did you put something in the kitchen again? No, come here, quick! 
gotta come. Okay, in the car. What's going on? Don't worry about it, just come. Why is the cat on your bed? Well, he kind of came back in, and so Duffy and I were watching some old movies together. Weren't we, Duffy? Go ahead, Duffy. Tell Chris what you told me. Are you okay, Dad? Yeah, I'm fine. Go ahead. Tell Chris. Uh-huh. Well, well, he was just talking to me. Yeah. He said... Meow. <laughs> no, wait a minute. I can't go, go stir crazy after just one day. Huh? Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. Now I'm going back to my room. What's your deal, cat? <sighs> New day. New day to start over. Phil 2.0. Yeah. Wonderful day to start again. And I'm gonna stop talking to stray cats because that makes no sense at all. But then a little walk in the woods wouldn't hurt. In fact, it would be good, a way to clear my head, right? And I just thought about that idea right at this very moment, right? This is really nice out here. No thought. <laughs> it's right across the street. Hey, loser. Don't try and prank me today. You don't have it in you. I'll pretend like I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, right. You stay dumb. I'm off to the library to work on my proposal because I'm smart and you're not. Yeah. I know, I got it. Blah, blah, blah. You're boring. Is uh, Tina off to the library? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, just going for a walk. Hey, you know, I'm always here if you need to talk. I know. Thanks, Mom. What's up with you, cat? I'm a talking cat, but I can only talk to a person once. And there's a collar my original owner gave me, buried under a grove of magical trees due north of here. It's near a big fallen tree, and just through a thick hedge, it looks like a fuzzy green wall. That collar is what lets me help people. That's crazy. What's so crazy about it? <laughs> You're a cat. You're a human and one with quite an imagination despite what your sister says. How do you know that? I don't even know what I'm going to do with my life. That's the problem with you humans. You're also concerned with knowing the destination. You forget to enjoy the trip. What does that mean? Not sure. Heard on TV once. But that thing doesn't really interest me. My sister knows what she wants, and we're twins. So you have to take the same path? No but I don't even know what I want to do. She's right. I have no imagination. You know how I know that's not true at all? <laughs> how? You're having a thoughtful conversation with me. I'm a talking cat, remember? That just makes me crazy. You need to stop selling yourself short. If you keep living and learning and reaching out, 
the life you think you're missing is gonna land right in your lap. Maybe you're right. Forget it. I have plenty of imagination. I need to get out more. I have not done this much walking in forever. And I should have brought some water. Hi. Hi, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I was just uh, walking in the woods and, and I guess I got a little bit... <laughs> Lost? Mug. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm not much for, for hiking. Not yet, anyway. Would you like some water? Well, I hate to be a bother, but that would be great. Wait, you're not a crazy person, right? I mean, no offense. <laughs> my son says I am. I don't think so, so I guess the jury's still out. Uh, my name is Phil. Susan, nice to meet you. Um, come on in. Well, thank you. So do you live nearby? Yeah, just up the canyon. 817 Ocean View. Wow, that's a swanky neighborhood up there. They say it is. My son doesn't think so. <laughs> oh, you have a son? How old? Chris, well, he's 17, going on 67. <laughs> I have two that age, a boy and a girl. Um, they're a little bit of a handful, but they're good kids. Fine see that you and your husband have done a fine job. Oh, I'm not married. I never have been. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean, I, I mean, well, Chris's mother, she left him with me. It's kind of awkward. Anyway, your place is really nice. It's very homey. Well, if by homey you mean small and needs work, thank you. Oh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's really nice. Thank you. I, I did it all myself. Really, I'm not much for decorating. I had somebody else do my place. So now I live in a place that has somebody else's taste. I gotta tell you, their taste is pretty awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you make it your own? Well, I don't have much taste. I mean, look at me. I look like something that the cat dragged in. <laughs> no, you don't. You look nice. Thank you, you're too, too kind. <laughs> you know, I've spent a lifetime working in windowless office buildings, drinking coffee. I'm no Humphrey Bogart. Oh my God, I love Humphrey Bogart. I taped the um, marathon that was on last night. Oh, you saw that too? Yeah. It was great. <laughs> What's your favorite Bogart movie? Wow, there's so many. I, I have them categorized um, by genre and some by co-star. And they call me OCD. Well, you have to. There are so many. There are the war-related stories, the detective stories. What about the love stories? Well, I like those too. They kind of creep up on you. They do. That's true. I am too good sometimes. Dad, you look terrible. <laughs> well, I just took a little walk. To where, Mordor? <laughs> no, I just down the hill and through the woods. Well, maybe I did get there. Well, Franny's gonna be here soon. So how's the tutoring going? It's okay. I think she gets this stuff more than she lets on, I think. Girls are weird. Yeah, they are. But they're pretty cool, too. Yeah. Kinda hard to figure out, though. Yeah. 
So I think I'm going to take another walk again tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to take another walk again tomorrow. I didn't say anything. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm going to go take a shower and uh, maybe we can go get some Chinese later on. Okay. So, Hamlet is a story about what? A guy named Hamlet who likes ham. <laughs> Too bad that he's not bad, but uh, there's a little bit more to it than that. You seem to know more yesterday, though. I know, <sighs> but it's just so hot. Do you think we could go swimming, please? I, I don't think we should go swimming. I mean, you can go swimming, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Well, don't you want to swim with me? Yeah, I'd love to, but I just don't think we should break client tutor privileges. By which, of course, I mean not to have any privileges. Okay, it's okay. I understand. I don't want you to freak out. I like you taking things seriously. But you don't have to all the time with me. Okay. Hamlet is a story about a guy who can't take action, even though the obvious is staring him right in the face. Um, yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay to ask for help. <laughs> You just... If it means anything, I don't like water at all. Except if I sit my paw in the faucet. It feels so weird. And I drink from the toilet sometimes. Don't tell anyone. Oh, I, I can't swim. I know. I, I don't know what to tell my dad. If you can talk to a cat, <laughs> you can talk to your dad. Yeah, but we don't have anything in common. You both talked to a cat, didn't you? And the cat talked back, didn't it? That's weird. True, true, but so is life. It'll never stop being weird, Chris. Don't let one setback stop you from taking advantage of an opportunity. If you need help, ask for it. Duffy, do you think Franny likes me? Duffy? Duffy? Well, I guess me and my dad are crazy. Together. It's kind of cool. Hey, that sounds great. It really does. No, short notice is fine, especially with an opportunity like this. Thank you, and thank Tom. Yeah, good luck tomorrow. Yep, I'll see you then. Thanks. You guys, that was Winnie Sims. She has a big client coming in tomorrow. And she wants to pull out all the stops. And if we help her land the client, she's gonna put us under contract. Wow, what's that mean? That means a regular job, regular paycheck, and maybe moving to a bigger house. Can I help? Yeah, I'm gonna have to load everything in the car. Could you give it a good clean out? Sure. <laughs> Tina. Yeah, good luck, Mom. No, Tina, look at me. I'm doing a breakfast and a lunch, so I'm gonna need you to juggle a few things for me with the ovens in the morning. Maybe even prep the cheese puffs. They were a special request. Sure, no problem. <laughs> so if anyone needs me, I will be in the kitchen most of the night. Don't mess this up for Mom like you messed up your face. Funny, slacker making no life. You can't make me feel bad anymore. <laughs> Whatever, weirdo. Trent gonna make you talk again today? Because that didn't make any sense. Now, I'm not sure how that story on the coding guy came on my computer. Tina, are you talking to me? No, Mom, Duffy's back. Oh, the cat. I don't think he should spend the night. He's not ours. 
Okay, I'll let him out. This will be our little secret. I do need to speak with your mother. She's the last person I need to speak with. But it's been a long day. And these long walks, whew, my paws are so tired. Okay, so Mr. Financial Advisor, where do we start? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so where should I invest? Uh-uh, no, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Wait. Wait, yeah, a toy company? <laughs> yeah, I read that book to Chris when he was a little. Yes, yes, let's invest. No, I don't care. I've got a lucky cat. That's right, that much. I don't care. Right, take care of it. Thank you. Sounds good. I'll talk to you later. It's time for me to take a walk in the woods. I got a neighbor to meet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go see a neighbor. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Okay, on my end, I guess. I'm not sure about the investors. I hope they come through, though. We could really use this. Yeah, well, lunch is either packed or finishing up. Great. Cheese puffs? They're cooling. They smell amazing. They should. Everything's top notch. <laughs> I'm losing money on those cheese puffs. You have to spend money to make money. To maybe make money in this case. Same thing these days. Where's your brother? Weirdo went to the mall to look for a part-time job or something. Oh, really? Cool. Well, I guess I have a few minutes to relax. <laughs> Am I relieved? Ah, oh, I want to feed, uh... The cat? No. Uh, I have work to do on my proposal. Cooking is just a hobby for me. <laughs> All right, well, stick around through lunch in case they have a special request. You worry too much, Mom. I know business, and believe me, if these investors aren't interested, cheese puffs aren't going to make a difference. Well, I don't care. We need this. I need this. You're weird, Mom. 
Yeah, I know. guy drives way too fast on our road. Yeah. So you, you're a chef? Caterer. I own my own business. Susan's Pantry Country Catering. <laughs> Do you cook? Well, a little bit. I'm mostly minimalist. <laughs> my son doesn't complain, though. Sorry. I've got to get going. It's a big day for my company today. Well, I'm sorry. Of, of course. Uh, I just was kind of in, in, in the, the area, and I... How about another glass of water? I wouldn't want you to get dehydrated. I'd love some. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hit the spot. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to tell you that I, I really appreciated our conversation yesterday. Yeah, I liked it too. I, I, I more than liked it. Susan, I, I don't want you to think that I'm weird or anything, but I was just wondering. Oh, that's my cheese puffs. Oh, oh, well, let me help you with them then. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. Well, it's the least I could no, do. No, 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 they're hot, and you know what? I hate to do this, but I've got to get back to the gig. Well, of course you do, but, but maybe we can, I can come back another time. Yeah, I'd like that. Oh. Tina, I've got to go, again. Who's this guy? This is Phil, our neighbor. Duffy? Bill, don't freak out. Don't freak out. My cheese puffs. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be mad. I, and this, Phil freaks out. Well, maybe I can buy you some more. I make them from scratch, and the Sims asked for them specifically. I'm sure it's not that big of a deal, Mom. It is. Wait, what about Duffy? How do you know Duffy? Oh, uh, well, Duffy's kind of like my cat. I'm my own cat, thank you very much. Your cat? Yeah, well, well, I mean, he comes and goes as he pleases, but he's kind of my, my cat. Hey, wait a minute. Is your name Phil? Yes, it is. Yeah, I told you that when you came in. Wait, Phil Barber, you do computer coding and stuff. Yes, I do. I, I mean, I did. That is perfect. I can't believe you're in my house right now. We have a lot to talk about. I need you to make another batch of cheese puffs for me. But, Tina, please, I'm gonna need the other tray and I don't have time. Okay, well, I can only make one batch. The kitchen isn't big enough to do two batches. Okay, I know that, but you've got to do this. Oh, wait a minute, I know. I, I, you can come over to my place and you can use my oven. I, I, I think I've got two ovens. That's perfect. I'll hang out with Phil and I'll make another batch. No, you're not going to a stranger's house by yourself. No offense. Well, no offense taken, but there's got to be something I can do. Yeah, you know what? You could go, really. Uh, I, I, we'll be fine. Please, okay. just go. I'm really, really sorry. Mom, he's nice. I need to talk to him. Well, that may be. But if you're not making cheese puffs, you're grounded. How can you do that? I'm almost an adult. Well, until you start acting like it, you do what I say. Oh, this didn't go very well. Just great, Phil. You ruined the lady's cheese puffs and her business all in one day. Phil! Phil, hi. I really did want to talk to you. Well, what about your mom? Oh, she'll be fine. Uh, this is business. Just keep walking and I'll tell you all about it. Oh. 
Hi, Mom. Want a sandwich? Where's your sister? Not here. She didn't make cheese puffs, did she? Nope. And she left her cell phone here. Is she in trouble? Yeah. Sweet. No, not sweet. The investor meeting is not going well, and I don't have cheese puffs. I'm sure the Sims will understand. It's not the point. I wanted everything to be perfect, and it isn't. And I don't know where she is. I'll find Tina. You go make one batch of cheese puffs. You can have before they're finished, I'm sure. Okay, I'll do that. Just get your sister back here. Sure. <laughs> She's in trouble. <laughs> this will be awesome. You know where she is? I have a pretty good idea. Oh, those cheese puffs smell amazing. It's my mom's recipe. You didn't have the cheese that she usually uses, but it should be okay. She won't be as mad, hopefully. You did tell her that you were coming here, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. And I have my phone. So what do you think about my idea? Well, you know, I've got a buddy who has a similar engine. We change up some of the algorithms, get a list of variables, uh, get some recognition software, uh, change. Mm. It's a thumb drive. I've been working on the math for a long time. I think I have the right list of variables and the basics for an algorithm, but I need help. You're just a teenage girl, right? Not like any teenage girl I ever knew. We could be nerds now, too. I guess you can. So will you take a look at it? If I can snag some of those cheese puffs before they get out of here. <laughs> it's a deal. I can't do this. I'm gonna sink, I'm gonna drown, and I'm gonna get eaten by sharks, pool sharks, and I do not like pool sharks. Hi, this pool's awesome. Thanks. Who are you? Oh, sorry, I'm Trent. Tina's brother? Who's Tina? Um, I think she's here, cooking something by the smell of it. I didn't think that was my dad. I didn't smell anything burning. Hey, do you think I could take a swim? I walked through the hill and it looks like the best thing I've seen in a long time. Sure. I was just getting out. Oh, there's some extra towels and uh, gym shorts in the cabana. <laughs> or you can just jump in. Must be out here every chance you get. Yeah, sure. I would kill to have a pool. I love to swim. I taught swimming when I was a lifeguard for a couple years at a kid's pool, just so I could swim. <laughs> Do you think you could teach non-kids how to swim? Sure, no problem. I just may have to come over a lot this summer and make sure the pool is up to snuff. Sure, whatever you need. I, as long as I can swim without sinking. <laughs> um, that's the easy part. Get in. Cheese puffs wafting across the pool deck. Two families enjoying each other's gifts. Yes, things are working out much, much better. These cheese puffs are the best. Thanks. Mm. What about my data sets? Yeah, this is all really impressive. Tina, I want to see what I can do with this. Really? Yeah. I think you've got a great future. Excuse me. 
Do you know our future? I'm doing it! That's it? <laughs> I'm doing it! Keep loose. Don't fight against the water. Relax. <laughs> nice job. Uh-oh. I'm so sunk. Susan. I forgot Susan. Susan, hi. You forgot this when you left home without permission. Mom, I can explain. Well, I thought you said that everything was okay. Phil here is a business guy, and he told me he could help me with my project and my career, so... So what? I needed your help with the business that provides food and clothes and a roof over your head. And forgive me if I still get to be your mother. Well, how did the meeting go? Not so good. The investors declined. Well, that happens. It's not your fault, Mom. Yeah. Yes what? Yes, I'm sorry. And where have you been? Swimming? You're in trouble, by the way. And so are you, by the way. I was just doing what you told me to. Yeah, swimming with friends. Well, well, maybe I can explain. Okay. Go ahead, explain. Come on, Phil, pull this one out. Don't let all my hard work down. I'm sorry? No, Phil. That is unacceptable. I expect more from my kids. And you know what? I barely know you. Well, then maybe we should hang out sometime. You're asking me out? Now? Well, of course really? not. I mean, it, it would just... Not that I wouldn't ask you out. I mean, you're very pretty. Dad, but... please, stop rambling. That's, That's not, not fair, fair, Mom. Mom. Like this is going so well. This, this is all Tina's fault anyway. Enough! Tina, Trent, in the car. We'll talk about this when we get home. And Phil, you may very well be a nice person, but in the future, could you take your walk on a different trail? I know I can fix this. I just need to talk to Susan. Pause. Don't fail me now. That one with Susan? Yeah, I did. Oh. We shouldn't let one little setback stop you from taking advantage of an opportunity. All right then. Well, I'll try not to, but I'm gonna need your help. How? Come here. You see, Susan's daughter, Tina, she invented an application that catalogs your wardrobe into a database and then offers you suggestions on some outfits. It also suggests things that you can buy in specific price ranges to augment those outfits. It's all pretty impressive. But we're dudes, and we're pretty sloppy dudes too. Yeah, we just have to change a few of the parameters. Are you ready to give it a try? Franny's coming by later. Then I guess we should get started. <laughs> Come here. Here. Okay. Let's see. Do you need me to... Yeah, right there. Scan in. Yep. Scan in. Yep. Scan in. That's Scan in. Yep. Scan in.
Okay. All right. So what uh, what choices do we have? What about uh, purple and pink tie with balloon pants? No, I don't think I could do that one. Crazy. Purple and pink? <laughs> That's a little much, Dad. <laughs> Just about done. Okay. Boom, boom. There we go. What do you think? All right. Yeah? Uh, I think that program works pretty good. I think I look pretty good. Yeah. Pretty GQ. You know, we look good. Well, we do. We should develop that girl's program. You know, Tina doesn't know it yet or not, but she's going to be one very wealthy young lady. <laughs> cool. That's Franny. I'll get out of your way. Hi, Franny. Oh, hi, Chris. You seem different. Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> Anyways, I was wondering, since uh, it's a little hot outside, if you might want to swim first and study second. I'd like that. Man, that's a long trip, but I can fix this. I know I can. Macbeth and his lady would have been a lot less ambitious if they had a pool to lounge in. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> hey guys, I don't want to bug you, but I thought you might want some lemonade. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Is this yours? Yeah. Hey. Really? Well, no. That's, that's terrible. I'll get my mom to give me a ride over right away. Is everything okay? Um... My friend was looking after a stray cat, the one that you had here the other day, Duffy. Well, she said that he got hit by a car by their place. It doesn't look good. What's going on? I think we're gonna go give your friend a visit right now. Susan, we're sorry to come by like this, but we were just told about Duffy. We were inside and we heard a car slam on its brakes. We found him. The vet has made him comfortable, but... We put him in my room. Do you mind? No, no. He's a good cat. Yeah, he is. Oh, ho, ho, wow. I don't know what it is about that cat. It's like he spoke to all of us. Why are you 
looking at each other like that. Duffy, he spoke to all of us. I don't understand. What do you mean? If he did that, maybe there's some magic left in his collar. What are you talking about? Did Duffy tell you something? Yes, he was making a point. He said he had a, a collar hidden near a grove of trees. We all know Duffy's special, right? So maybe it makes sense that the collar might be able to save him. Anything, we have to do something, let's go. Are you all crazy? Yes, we are. So where do we start? North of here. Never be mean to you again. Sure you will. spoke out loud to all of you? Yeah, you're probably gonna think we're crazy and all of us should be put away. But if there's one chance in a million that this crazy goose chase that we're on is gonna save that cat, it's worth it. Okay. I think the hedge Twin talked about is up here beyond that fallen tree. Over here. I think this is it. You ready to see what's on the other side? Got it. something. I'm Duffy. I'm a talking cat. Susan got her contract with Sims Toys after all. It seems some new investor person appeared out of nowhere. It was a month before Phil and Susan realized they had even more things in common, and by then, they'd grown quite fond of each other. Tina's fashion advice thing he became a big deal for Phil's new development company. Right there. I still don't get the fascination with the beeping machines, but it makes them both happy. Cannibal! 
the others, well, they're still figuring out who they are and what they want. But they've taken to the cat way of doing things, which involves a lot of curiosity, playing, and napping. Okay, maybe it's just me that likes to nap, but I find it helpful. Maybe my colleague gave me one of those nine lives I'm supposed to have, I don't know. But my new family, the family I feel I'm gonna stay with, believed enough in me to come together on my behalf. And that's almost enough to make a cat get emotional. <laughs> almost.